These are down in the garage. Haven't done a video in a while. These thermo cells, they work real good. Sorry about my messy garage. Um, I go through more of the blue things on the top than I do these things. So what I end up doing is I buy a bottle of butane like this just a bottle of butane and on the very tip uh, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in get some light and it's hard to see I'm trying to autofocus come on autofocus it's not working alright I'll draw a diagram how's that sound okay the tips that tip looks like that what I do is with a very sharp razor knife I cut a little V in it okay okay on the top of the butane chargers you see the brass thing see it's easy to remove what I do is I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to do this single-handed I take and I squeeze onto the tip I'll show you like this and you give it a twist and pop it off twist Oh, without ruining the o-ring of course popped it off see can you see that just quick quick pop off now on the inside on the inside there's a check valve what that means is that all our fluid out not in so what I do then is I take a screw sheet rock screw and I will kind of thread it in there really tight and deep get it in there really good and once you get it in there really good hold on alright let's see if I can do this get it in there really good and then you give it a pull boom and it pulls out and that's what you get that's the check valve on the end of the screw and it unthreads off right off there it is. Remove that. Then you take the brass unit that you just popped off, stick it back in the center, and you get, tap it down. See how I just tap it down? Nice and hard. Alright, now with the tip cut like I showed you, a little V I'll take this and yes a little will leak out in the beginning hey by the way no open f flames there's a little open flame in there Let's get that out of the way because it will leak at first I'll take I'm gonna take it and push it down see it purged out now I dropped the phone. Sorry. Sorry, dropped you. Now what it's doing as I'm doing this, I'm, oh, as I push down onto it, you look, I already got fluid in it already. There's already fluid in there. And that's how you refill them. Let's try this again. Hold on. Trying to pause it. Okay, now I'm refilling it. Put a light in the back. Ah, oh, the light doesn't help. Hold on. Yeah, you can't quite see it. I tried to get a better video, and it's not working that very well. But what it does is, in the end, 
See, it, you can see the line down on the bottom there. You just hold it for a few. And you'll see it bubbling. I don't know if you can see it bubbling up. See it bubbling? What it's doing is it's transferring the liquid from the can to the cell. Oh, there you go. You can see some of the liquid. See it's slowly filling. Okay, in the end, what you end up with is from two cans, I got, I don't know if you can see, see the fluid? One, two, three, four, oops, sorry, knocked it over, five, six, and seven. I'm in the process of filling, seven. Okay, two cans. Now, for four of them, with the blue pads, it's $20. It seems like I go through more of these than I do the blue pads. So, I had to find a way to... I ended up with a surplus of the blue pads on the thermal cell. Which, by the way, keeps mosquitoes away real good. Um, so, I had to figure out how to get more fuel rather than the cells. They're calculated for an X amount of hours, but you can run those a lot longer and they work great with the blue pads. When they turn all white, then you want to replace them. The problem is, is it uses more of the fuel than it does the blue pads. So, I ended up with a surplus, so I had to figure out what I, what I could do. And I found this little cut in the tip, like I showed you here. And it works great. And I got a bunch of refills. You got to remove. Remember to remove that little check valve, and it just takes a screw, toop, and pops it right out. Pull it right out. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this will save you some money because it saved me a lot of money. By the way, these were like two dollars fifty cents. Two bucks, and I got ah uh, seven, seven or eight fills out of it. Good job. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.